I'm going to show it like how we can create actions. First of all, I am removing all this code. So I just selected and deleted. Now, whenever we are creating a new script, like I just want to create a new test script. So I'm just removing this. And here I'm going to new, I'm going to create a new test script. Here I'm just selecting a new GUI test and giving like name actions. So I want to show actions over here. So whenever we are creating a new script, it will show only one action. All the action will be displayed over here. I'll, I'm going to show it. So by default, whenever we are creating any new script, it will be a one action. If we start recording, it will record complete script in one action only. But now I'm going to create my script with multiple actions. We have two approaches by which we can create multiple action script. First approach is that now we have one action only, which is this. I can create few more actions like on this action, I want to record only my first page and right click, add new action, call to new action and I am adding one more action which is action 2. So here we can see we have two actions. In the same way, I am going to create one more action and just keeping the same name. So now we have three actions. I'm going to start the recording. So I'm starting the recording. Uh, again, I'm taking same options which are selected in the previous sessions for recording. I'm just clicking on the OK and now going for the recording. So in recording, first of all, you need to select which action you want to record. So here I'm selecting action one. So first of all, first recording I want to do in the action one. Now I'm coming and the search functionality I want to record into the action one. So iPhone and click on the search button. So these two steps I have recorded into the action one. If you want to check it, you can check it like these two steps or whatever the steps are recorded into the action one. Now I'm on a second page. So this page functionality I want to record into the action two. So I can go here, I can select action 2 and now here you can see action 2 is selected. Now I can do whatever the functionality you want to record. So I'm going like Samsung and in the categories I'm selecting phones and periods and I click on the search button. So these functionalities will be recorded into the action 2 even we can check it over here so here few lines are recorded into the action 2 now i want to switch to the action 3 and rest of the part like i want to check this checkbox i want to check this checkbox as well I want to change it to the all and now click on the search button these steps will be recorded into the action 3 i can show you how over here few steps are recorded into the action 3. I am just stopping this recording and here we can see we have created a script with multiple actions and if you click on any of the action it will show all the steps in the particular action like first action 1, then action 2 and then action 3. So we have divided, we have recorded our complete script into multiple actions so here that's a script with the multiple actions it's not going to make any difference while execution of the script if you are going to execute the script all the actions will be execute in the same order in which it was recorded so if i am executing it it's going to execute all the actions in the order in which it was recorded so first action one then action two and then action three only the difference is that we have divided our script into multiple chunks means multiple sections. Each section is called action. 
So we have seen with the help of the actions, we can divide our script into the multiple sections. We call it actions in EUFT. So it's going to execute. And here you can see first at executing the action 1. So here we can see first action 1 is executing. Then it will execute the action 2 and then ex execute action 3. So all the actions will be execute in the same order in which it was recorded. After the execution, we can check it. Everything is passed because so it's not going to make any difference in execution if we are recording in a single action or maybe in multi multiple actions. So here in this session, we have seen what is action and how we can create multiple action script. But this time we have created actions before recording. I'll show you how we can create multiple action script while recording the steps. So in next session, we will cover that part. So that's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.